Welcome to week five. It's that sort of week. So, on the conceptual, theoretical and general things to talk about framework, we're dealing with price and distribution this week. And beyond the classroom, we're also dealing with a heck of a lot of other things. So, your quick wrap up of the things to do in the week. There are two on-demand lectures to watch. There is one on price, there is one on distribution. Pricing is the one, if you're going to prioritize, and I know it's a very hectic week and it's a big week, prioritize price because we talk a lot about non-financial price. And e-marketing is one of the courses that really emphasizes this whole concept of things other than money exchanged in terms of the value offer and the value proposition. So non-financial price, a big part of e-marketing, big part of contemporary marketing practice, and we spend, we have a full hour of lecture dedicated to it, but we're also gonna spend some time seeing how it impacts your operation and how it will impact on your project. Also, you're absolutely drowning in assessment tasks at the moment, so you are very conscious of time price. So am I, I've got to get through this quickly. Second thing to do is that uh, I'm recording this on the Sunday before the assignments are due to be submitted on the Monday morning. There's going to be a bunch of post-assessment fields. Um, you are about to drop 20%, about to drop an assignment in, it's worth 20%. I am going to mark that and I'm going to try and mark that as fast as I can so I can give you feedback, so I can give you guidance towards your major project. Now the circumstances under which we are operating this semester are bloody awful. Um, as of today, Sunday, the 22nd of the 8th, 2021, we have received news that there is a COVID infection in the residences on AMU. Got the email from the Vice Chancellor. So a bunch of you are going to be having a very bad time. And frankly, my assignment can just take a back seat and get the hell out of your way. So your choice is either sub it, get it done, and get it off the to-do list. Or if it's all too much, do not break yourself in the name of my assignment. Do not. Put yourself in harm's way for 20 points. Don't ever do it for 100 points. Talk to me, contact me, reach out. We are built on the 2.0 principle, the iteration principle of, all right, didn't work. Let's do it differently next time. Let's change, fix, and upgrade. So if you have got, can get it away off the to-do list and that works for you, go for it. If you need more time, reach out, talk to me. I would rather my crew stay safe and we come back to things and we sort things out and we be flexible because that is part of what I want to teach you in e-marketing is that your first shot isn't your final shot. Your first draft isn't your final. Version 1.1, version 1.2, version 2.0. So that counts to my deadlines, your tasks, whatever. We be flexible. We look after each other. So for those of you who are through submitted, look, action the project. You may need to take your mind off other things this week, but if you haven't started, like if you still need to register your account name and all those other things, get on, get it going, get it underway. It's a good place to get started. Uh, for those of you who had plans about doing things outdoors for your project, uh, start with throwbacks, start with flashbacks, start with introductions. Start with canned content if you have to, just start, if you can. If you're in a position to start, go for it. If you're not in a position to start, recalibrate your timelines. Set yourself, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm good to go in a number of days' time. Uh, on that, we are going to talk a little bit about plans and tracking. I will once again uh, mention the idea of the bullet journals. These are super useful for just both mood tracking, because you're going to need a bit of that right now. You, being able to just write stuff down as well, being able to get stuff out of your system, whatever works for you, go for it. So if journaling will help, if documenting will help, if blowing things up in CSGO will help, or stopping people from blowing things up in CSGO will help, whatever you got to do, do it. But plans and tracking, one of the reasons I ask for a visualization of your plan is so you've got that 
overview document of what have I got to get done by my next task date. So keep those to hand, make them useful, make them into reality. And I've mentioned this a few times, I'm going to mention it again. At the end of the day, stay safe. All right? There's a lot of, this is a rough week. Um, we are in a circumstances that we did not expect to be in. As much as I prepared my subject for full virtual delivery, I and you know, I had Alex in a face-to-face -face tutorial, and I had all these backup plans and protocols in place. We didn't have this in mind. I had a protocol and a scenario, but that scenario was based on I wanted to deliver this course online, whatever our conditions were. I did not have Canberra with COVID outbreak in my to-do list, in my checklist. Uh, I run a lot of if this then that scenarios and this was not uh, on my list. So as much as we're set for it, you don't necessarily have to be. It's okay to have, it's okay not to be okay in a crisis. So when I talk about this, be as okay as feasible. Understand yourself, know your limits, know what you got to do to stay safe, to keep yourself okay. Uh, people like me, we're good in a crisis, but believe me, when this is done and dusted, I'm taking some serious time off because I'm going to need it. Last thing, oh, phase two. Um, look, for those of you who are going to make the class, the things we're going to be talking about, we're going to talk about distribution and non-financial price. That's the two topic areas for the seminars. On the things to attend, if you're in the space to do it, Monday and Tuesday, our live learning seminars. We've got the virtual tutorials on Thursday with Alex, and they've been quite um, successful. I'm also bringing in a backup plan this week. Monday is quite likely to be a day where people are just like, no, nah, I'm out, I can't do it. And that's okay. So the backup plan is I've created a Zoom space uh, six to eight Thursday nights, and I'm going to run it this week, week five, and I'm going to run it next week, week six. And the reason I'm running these is if you're not in the headspace on Monday or Tuesday, don't come to the class. Take that time to yourself. A backup is there so that if you want to use a live course, a live event, you've got it later in the week on a Thursday. Uh, I plan on doing this for weeks five and week six. I will get fit. I'd like your feedback, whether you think this is useful, whether you'd like a daylight variant on it um, on a Friday afternoon going forwards. Basically, the situation as I see it right now is you are probably thinking, a bunch of people who are probably thinking about skipping class on the Monday, I'd rather enable that by having a backup plan in place so you got that time for yourself. Uh, this has been an unusual, this is an unusual time. We are operating in a period of uncertainty and screw it, I can make some changes that can be done under my watch to make to take some pressure off and release pressure valves. So this will be up on the wattle. I'll explain it out in the forums as well, but a open, it's called the backup plan because it is the backup plan. It doesn't matter if you're a day walker or a night stalker, you'll need to re-register to go to the backup plan because I just want to make certain I know who's in there so I can credit you, your attendance. If you catch the Monday class, awesome, you're done. If you go to the Tuesday class, you're done. If you don't want to do either of those because you're just not in the space for it right now, Thursday night, that's your backup. That's in play, so it's there if you need it. And if I just spend two hours chilling out in front of a webcam on a Thursday night, whatever. It's be a bit like running my Twitch stream. So let me know. Sign up if it's going to help, and sign up as a backup. Like, feel free to sign up and not attend. There's no penalty for not being there. It's just there, so if you need it, you can access it. Uh, engagement opportunities, yeah, look, the recap padlets, they have dropped in traffic a little bit, I understand, people have been busy, uh, would be super keen for people to go the five, week five recap padlet because there is some stuff around the assignment experience and I'd love to get your feedback on that, uh, just, but when you're ready, don't, don't prioritise getting that, another assessment task done over that one. Uh, forum posts and replies, 
going really well. Really pleased about how that um, the traffic's picked up, the conversations are underway, people are engaging with each other. I'm not diving in as much as I could. I'm holding back deliberately because I, I tend to dominate a forum if I let myself go. Um, so if there's any point you do actually want, you know, if you post something you know, after my opinion, um, tag me, all right? I'm reading all of the posts, I'm looking at all the posts, I'm just knowing that I can't necessarily go my old school forum days and just outpost everybody else because, yeah, I'm like that. The last thing, the Get Hype Challenge. Uh, I opened this up on Thursday. I promoted it on week four. I'm going to do a couple more promos, a couple more Get Hypes. Thank you to the two players who have entered and picked off the um, images for the next couple of weeks. With this, look, the reason I've got the Get Hype Challenge is go practice, go play, but also it's there as a bit of a stress valve. Um, if you need a distraction, you want to create something, here's a topic, here is a thing you can go make. Go make me a video, go make me... And don't just follow my template. Make me your video. If you're TikTok and you're good with TikTok, you use it. Do a TikTok style, 30 second, 15 second, get hype. Do an Instagram post, get hype. Do what works for you. And that includes, if you want to stream a bit of video game, if you want to play, uh, I'm thinking about Untitled Goose Game actually, I might see if I can do a get hype, 15 second get hype for Untitled Goose Game play a bit of game, stream some stuff. It's there just to give you something to do, play around, test stuff out. But also, because I like the idea of just actually bringing some of our technique in to go, tutorials, they're awesome. Get in it. Get amongst it. Get hype. Uh, I'd like to see that. So, in summary, this is week five. You're probably going to see this after you submit your assignment. Uh, for all of you who hit the deadline of the 10 o'clock Monday morning. Cheers, mates. Uh, I will start marking soon after submission. I will, to the best of my ability, keep the marking protocol. I'll, I'll keep the submission protocol open. If you see a new submission um, load up and the old one go away, it's because I lock for marking and to make things safer for me so I don't stuff things up. Uh, but basically... Look out for yourselves. Look out for each other. We've got backup plans. We've got things in place to support you. And most of all, this is not business as usual. So we don't do business as usual in e-marketing. We don't run under the old protocols. We don't run under pre-COVID assumptions. We work to the hand we're dealt. And in your assignments, I ask you, work to your strengths. In this subject, we work to our strengths. We're flexible as hell, and you've got one of the one of the lecturers who is very fond of going first, trying things out, and seeing what the hell happens next. So if we need to build it, test it, try it to make it work for us, I've got your backs for it. So look after yourselves, stay safe, and see you at the next check-in.